studying for the AP exam, huh? Nice! Well, do you want to know how to get a 5 on that exam? Follow me! Well, the first tip I have is very simple yet effective, and that's sleep. Being that we're in high school, sleep is very uncommon. But since we're in AP classes, we need that sleep for us to be able to do all of our homework and take our tests. It is very vital. You have no idea how many times I fell asleep halfway through homework with my assignments in a scattered mess. Wake up! Although we all want sleep, it's not that simple due to this one thing called... Procrastination. Hmm. Now, this is a class that cramps more than 10,000 years of history in you, so procrastination is something you definitely want to avoid. As any other AP class, this one requires sacrifice, and that could mean blocking out video games from your life. Basically, expect to sacrifice some things in order to succeed in the class. And with all this history, studying is definitely needed. Yeah, yeah, studying is hard. But a method that I like to do is to study with a friend. Not only do you have someone to cry with, but discussing history with someone definitely makes sure that you really grasp it. Oh, and another way to really grasp it is to participate. Whenever that old chin man or tiny fairy asks a question, you better have that hand raised and waving. Remember, the worst thing that could happen is you being wrong, and either way, you'll be learning from it. And don't forget, participation is also great, so um, don't let it be the reason for your downfall. We know that this is a lot to take in, but there's just one more thing. And that is to have fun. Just remember, although this is a hard class and you'll be sacrificing a lot of sleep, time, and possibly your life, make sure to get yourself out there. Have some fun. Now, the worst thing that can happen is you putting all your time and effort into school too much. And that can be really stressful. And there's one thing I learned. Having too much stress can really diminish your ability to take your tests. All in all, to do well in the exam and the class as a whole, it's important to maintain a balance between sleep, work, studying, participation, and most importantly, your own lifestyle. Future historians, we wish you the best of luck.